Hello, you're watching News Mongolia on MNB World. I'm your host, Izan Naktai. For our top stories, despite lower savings rates, local currency savings continue to grow. President Hursuk received representatives of the National Council on Language. COVID-19, 3,638 cases, three additional deaths confirmed. For other news, stay tuned. On Friday, the Ministry of Health reports that 3,638 new cases of COVID-19 were confirmed and three more people have died. In the past 24 hours, 3,638 new cases were confirmed and 2,554 have recovered. Unfortunately, three patients aged between 21 and 80 died of COVID-19 complications. All new cases were confirmed domestically, out of which 810 were confirmed in Lolambata city and 2,828 in the rural provinces. At hospitals nationwide, 16,226 COVID-19 patients are being treated, out of them 10,397 show mild symptoms of illness and 293 are in critical condition. Additionally, 23,315 patients are being treated at home under supervision from local hospitals. Health officials warned the public against the rising spread of COVID-19 throughout the country and the start of the new academic and advised them not to go to public places when unnecessary and follow precautionary measures thoroughly. Mongolian commercial banks report that despite lower saving rates, people have high level of confidence in the banking sector. Details are as follows. The Mongolian Banking Association presented the second quarter overview of the banking sector and the bank's competitiveness report. Bank savings rates have fallen by 4.5 percentage points since 2020. Despite lower interest rates and lower capital expenditures, businesses and individuals continue to have a high level of confidence in the commercial banks. At the end of July 2021, local currency savings reached 15.1 trillion Mongolian Tugriks, an increase of 36% compared to the same period of the previous year. According to the National Statistics Office, this is an increase of 156.8 billion Mongolian Tugriks or 1% from the previous month and 3.9 trillion Mongolian Tugriks or 34.7% from the same period of the previous year. 89.3% or 13.5 trillion Mongolian Tugriks deposits belong to individuals and 10.7% or 1.6 trillion Mongolian Tugriks to business entities and organizations. Foreign currency deposits reached 4.1 trillion, decreasing by 200.7 billion Mongolian Tugriks or 4.7% from the previous month and by 496 billion or 10.8% from the same period of the previous year. The president of Mongolia, Hursuk, was given a brief introduction on the activities done in connection with the studies on languages and dialects of ethnic groups living in Mongolia. He also learned about the Mongolian language, grammar dictionary, coding of international standards for the Mongolian script, as well as the project's works being carried out within the framework of the National Program for Mongolian Language. President Hurusuk received researchers and scholars, representatives led by head of the National Council on Language Policy, Istotlam. He noted that it's crucial to pay great attention to the teaching of the Mongolian language to children and giving support to Mongolian language studies among foreign students, Mongolists and foreign diplomats who want to learn it. Later, he instructed the National Council on Language Policy to focus on improving the knowledge and skills of the traditional script among public servants through the implementation of a program which is currently being carried out by government agencies and the introduction of the Unicode of Mongolian script phonetic model. The president added that it's possible to issue an appeal for all to learn the traditional script and provide guidance to all levels of organizations through the corresponding authorities. Now let's take a look at Mongolia's current affairs. The Minister of Food, Agriculture and Light Industry, the National Center for Livestock Genetic Fund, the Agricultural Exchange and the Agricultural Support Fund are organizing a livestock auction on September 10 in Darhod province. 
The auction will sell limousine cattle imported from France, 176 Angus breed cattle and 350 sheep of fine merino breed. During the event, which will be held at the National Center for Livestock Genetics in Hongersum of Tarhor province, training and workshops on cattle and sheep care, herding and technology will be provided. The ambassador of Mongolia to the Russian Federation, Dava, held a meeting with the Deputy General Director of the Russian Railways, Pavlov, on August 31st. The agenda of the meeting included various issues and current status of Mongolian-Russian joint Ulaanbaatar Railways joint stock company. From his side, Ambassador Dava mentioned that all proposals related to Ulaanbaatar Railways were passed to the related government authorities and agencies and expressed his willingness to support a further strengthening of cooperation in railway and transport sectors. The Civil Aviation of Mongolia released the schedule for the 37 international flights in October. The schedule includes 17 flights to and from Seoul, South Korea, which will be operated by Miat Mongolian Airlines, Korean Air and Asiana Airlines. Eight flights are scheduled for Frankfurt, Germany, Irkutsk, Russia and Budapest, Hungary. The flights will be operated by Miat, Hunu Air and Aero Mongolia. There are five flights to Tokyo, Japan, operated by Mongolian Airlines, and five flights to Nur Sultan and Almaty, Kazakhstan, operated by Hunu Air. Two Turkish Airlines flights to Istanbul are also scheduled. The Civil Aviation Authority noted that the flight schedule is subject to change in accordance with infection prevention guidelines. And here's the currency exchange rates provided by Monk Bank. And here's the weather forecast for the world's major cities. Well, that's all for today. Thank you for staying with us. We'll see you on Monday with more stories and updates. Please follow MNB World on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Instagram. Have a nice evening. Goodbye.